the word of God that he will open a door if you knock you knock on that door and say Lord we're asking, I'm asking save me he will save you today he will give you life today he will give you eternal life there is eternal life today one day we die one day you'll die and then we meet our maker then we meet the savior and are we ready to meet the savior today jesus christ it says in philippians chapter 3 which i'll read to you in philippians chapter 3 Have a look at it here. This is Bible. This is Bible. It's got to be with you. It says, it says, now it says, let us therefore as many as perfect be thus minded. Philippians 3.15 And if in anything ye otherwise minded, God shall reveal unto you. Nevertheless, wherein we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule, let us mind the same thing. Brethren, be follows together in me, and mark them which walk so after you have for an example. For many walk, of whom I have told you often, and now tell you even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, and who mind earthly things. For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto the glorious body, according to the working wherein is able even to subdue all things unto himself. But it says, for our conversation is in heaven. Hey, are you a Christian? Yes. Yes. I, 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 when was you born again? Six years ago. Okay, do you want to share your testimony on the camera? Oh, you don't speak English. Okay, okay. Well, it's lovely to meet you, bro. It's lovely to meet you. Thank you. You can say something. Do you want to say something in, in your own language? Can you just tell them? You just come up here. You come up here. Amen. Amen. Thanks a lot. God bless you. So, we're not to mind earthly things, but to have heavenly mind. A heavenly mind on the things of God. You see, there's a heavenly mind and an earthly mind. And the heavenly mind thinks about Jesus. The heavenly mind thinks about heaven and hell. The heavenly mind thinks about the word of God, which is a lamp to my feet. The heavenly mind obeys the Ten Commandments. The heavenly mind seeks the things of God. The heavenly mind seeks Jesus. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. The heavenly mind seeks truth. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. The heavenly mind seeks the things of God. Seeks the heavenly manna from heaven. For Christ is the heavenly manna that will feed your soul, that will feed your heart, and give you joy, and give you peace, and give you forgiveness. A heavenly mind, a, a spiritual mind, or an earthly mind. You can have an earthly mind. Where you mind earthly things, where you're earthly and you mind gossip, you mind pride, you mind things of this world, the pleasures of this world. But then there is the heavenly mind. The mind that's meditating on Jesus 
The mind that's trusting Jesus. The mind that treasures Jesus. Who do you treasure today? What do you treasure today? What is your treasure? What do you treasure? What do you think of today? What is on your mind today? Jesus is the treasure that can bless you, change you, and bring salvation to you today. He is the one that can bring hope to you today. He is the one that can bring spiritual life to you, spiritual hope to you, spiritual joy to you. He is the one that can bless you today. You can have an earthly mind, or you can have a heavenly mind, a mind set on the things of God, a mind set on Jesus Christ, a mind that treasures Jesus, treasures Jesus above everything else, treasures Jesus above money, above power. Who do you treasure today? Do you treasure Jesus? Do you want to know Jesus? Do you want to know him as your Lord? Know him as your Savior? Do you want to trust him today? Earthly mind or heavenly mind? A heavenly mind, the things of God, a heavenly mind, the things of Jesus, the things of the Lord today, where He can save you, where He can set you free, where He can give you blessings, where He can save you. The blessings of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, where we cry, Abba, Father, where the Spirit of God dwells in us, and the Spirit of God makes us a child of God, and the Spirit of God fills us with joy. And the Spirit of God fills us with love. And the Spirit of God fills us with power. And the Spirit of God fills us with blessing. Because He is the blessing of all blessings. God is the blessings of all blessings. He is the one that you need. He is the one that you need to seek. God is the God of all blessings. God is the one that you need. God, you want to come over here, bro? Come over here, come on. Come on, camera, ask some questions, bro. Well, have you got any questions to me, bro? Uh, fucking... Do you know any? Do you believe there is a God? Nah. Why don't you believe there's a God, bro? It's about a brain, ain't it? Alright. Let me, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Which is more intelligent, the mind-created mind or non-mind-created mind? Non-mind. So you reckon that there was a big bird and yeah. it created mind? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I think that mind created mind. That's more intelligent, bro. Obviously, that's your opinion. Opinion, and it's from Yardley, and I know what's going on. Well, it's fucking golden, and it's been 26. Let me ask you another question. What's the meaning of life to you, bro? Fucking get back on it, ain't it? You live day by day, and it. What if you died tonight? What would happen? You die, ain't it? Sweet, go to heaven. That's it, yeah? But what if you meet God and there is a hell? Well, that's it, and it. Oh God, 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 it. it. And how long do you think? How long do you think hell would be for? You don't know, any? How painful would it be? You don't know. You don't know. Jesus, what does this mean to you from yeah. Yard? From no. Yard? What does this? What does Yardy, this? Yard, yeah. I'm just gonna fucking do whatever I can for as long as I can. Right. Any. Well, when you die and you meet God, and God forbid, I don't want you to go to hell. No, but if there is, a, if there is hell and you go to hell, what? right? Je let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah, and no, Jesus no. said there'll be yeah. weeping and gnashing of teeth. How, how how are you going to cope with that? Oh, no, you just got to do what you got to do, ain't it? But how do you where, know that hell's not better than heaven? Oh, I'll tell you why. That's all right. Right. Where's David? Hey. What, happens, what, what happens about... Where's he going to be? Where's he going to be? Hell. Hell is eternal like an eternal place of torment. How, where do, you, how, how, how do you know from fact that hell is worse than heaven? All right, because... Oh, you know what I mean? Not if you think about it. How would you... Uh, let me ask you, okay, it's a good question. Let, let me finish, let me finish, because it's a good question. Good. And I respect whatever you believe, yeah. even if we disagree. No, still I'm shake your hand and still respect. Yeah, and I'm going to treat you with respect. It's a good question. How do I know how hell is real and it's better than hell? Yeah. I'm going off Jesus, what Jesus said. Yeah. Right? If Jesus says that he's the Son of God and he died and rose again, I'm going to trust him. And he spoke more about hell than he did about heaven, bro. But say, say I'm Jesus, yeah. yeah. I'll write a, say, say I'm Jesus and I'll write, write a book and write all this shit down and whatever he said and whatever, whatever's happened. I could write the same things down and it could just be made up. Okay. No, you don't know for a fact, do you? Uh, you do, you do, because there's evidence. We do have evidence. Is that? Yeah, there's, there's evidence. There's also evidence that the world was created by a big bang. What's the evidence? Scientists have the same point of view, don't they? Scientists believe, or do you believe? Scientists are making an assumption. They look, wait, wait, let me finish, let me finish. They look at the speed of light and they say light took a million years to get here. They make a conclusion that there was a big bang. You know the people that speak about 
Jesus, Jesus Christ. 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 Wait, wait a minute, Tom's on the mic with one of them, yeah, so the middle of the time, he's about to go. He's got to be just as good as you know, they're not rebirds. All could be reborn. All could be reborn. Let me ask you a question, then. Truthfully, I don't think you are speaking about it. Let me ask you a question. A honest question. Yeah, I said you know what do you think about Jesus Christ. Oh, he, like he's his own person, isn't he? <laughs> he's lived his life, I'm going to live my life. He said this, he said this, I am the way, the truth and the life. Yeah, but I said I'm going to get banged on it as much as I can. And I'm Go on, Neto! Now, now, he died. Oh, 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 now, he died, oh, but the thing is, he rolls again. He rolls again. Right? Right? No, I'm but, not going to rise again. But the thing is, if you died and rise again, I'll believe what you said. Yeah, exactly. Have you ever done it? How do you know he's done it? We've got we're evidence. There, we've got evidence. Right. Women, that person, let me, let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Women's testimony was only worth half that of a man. If you were starting a religion, you would not use I'm women. Not let, let, let me finish. 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 Let a woman comes, you don't listen to the women, just the men, right? If you start in a religion, you wouldn't use women. Who were the first people to see Jesus rise again? I don't know, man. He knows his stuff, bro. It was women. Yeah. You wouldn't start religion with women. And he started a religion, it was the women. Not that he didn't start, he, he rose again, and it was the women that testified. Now, you wouldn't start a religion with women in those days, right? So that's some evidence, right? But you know there's a God, you have the man. No, I don't. Have you ever lied? Have I ever lied? Every single day. Right. Would you like if you had a girlfriend, if you had a girlfriend, you're going to prove there is a God to us now. If you had a girlfriend, she slept with a guy. Big up Sophie, big up Sophie the mic. Yardley man, yeah. She come to you and look you in the face and said she never she never slept with anyone, what would you think? You wouldn't be happy, would you? Be honest. Yeah, but if you've done would exactly you, the same, would you be happy? Problem, is he? Would you, would, would you be happy? Just, bro, let go. Yeah. If your girlfriend slept with other guys and lied to you, would you be happy? Probably not, but would you be happy with me? Here's the problem. When you, wait a minute, when you said probably not, you just moved on. I don't mind you being right here. You've got on his bird, there's no one yet. Yeah, let me finish I'll get your point. Let me finish out of my bird. Let me finish. If there is no God, if there is, if there is no God, there is no right and wrong. But the moment when he said it was not right, that's yes. right and wrong. And you can't get right and wrong without God. Who says what's right and who's wrong? Me, I think the Lord. No, 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 no. I, could, I could turn around to him and say, no, I ain't happy without your dress. Yeah, but and then the next day I could dress the same thing. Yeah, that mean it's wrong. Yeah, think about it. Go home. Yeah, yeah, think about it. I'm going to go home. Listen, listen. Think about it. Please. Right. <laughs> what, what is he? What? What's God? God is a spirit. Jesus said. So what is he? No, no, let me see. Let's win. Can I see? You worship Can I see? Spirit you? You've got a natural the bro. Let me see. But you've got a natural man. Face time with me. I don't believe. Face time with me. I don't believe. Let me see. You've got a natural man. But you've got a spirit. You've got a. You've got a, a soul. And the spirit of God wants to come in. Now when you get angry, that's like your rock by the nature coming out. But when you become a follower of Jesus, you get a new nature. So you got like a rabbit. So you're telling me you never get angry ever. So what? You're no. telling me you're the rabbit. No, but listen, you're guys. Rabbit. guys. <laughs> He's a rabbit. What's he been smoking? Scratch. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been smoking? Bro? No, I'm just this metaphor. Nah, but nah, but yeah, the rabbit man. Don't talk to rabbits, bro. Okay. You got a natural body. Bro. But when you become born again, you get a spiritual body. That's a carrot. Spir when when got no, no, right. You get. It's not no. You get a spiritual nature. It's called being born again, and love, joy, peace comes in your heart. And it begins to change the old nature when you get angry, when you get fed up, depressed. The Spirit of God begins to change and put joy and peace, and delivers you from stuff. And you get forgiveness, you God, and peace. I just, I, would you look at me? I committed the tempting on robbery. Did you know that? I committed the tempting on robbery. When I went in, when I went in strange ways, I chopped a guy's ear off. Yeah. I've been to Penn, yeah, I've been to what? For tempting on robbery. I, 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 so when I was in there, I came out and I found Jesus. Yeah, but he can change you, mate. It's not religious. It's not religious. It's a relationship, and he can change you. He can set you free if you want to be set free. But 
you've got to cry out. Yeah, you've got to cry out to Alright then, so it's going to go over the top of 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 It'll be on my YouTube channel, yeah? Alright, God bless you. Who's filming it then? You're going to be famous, lads. God bless you. <laughs> so Jesus Christ shed his blood for you, gave his life for you, so that you could be born again today. So that you could be born again and know the living God today. Do you want to be born again? Do you want to be born again of the Spirit of God? Born again of the power of God? Born again of the living power of the Holy Ghost? Where you change forever, where you made anew forever, where you're given life forever, where you're set free forever, where you are forgiven forever, where you have life forever, peace forever, the power of God in your life forever. You change from the power of God. Flesh gives birth to flesh, spirit gives birth to spirit. You must be born again, says the Bible. John 3, in the Bible, John 3, chapter 3. The Lord said you must be born again. Oh, the Spirit of God will change you, give you life. The Spirit will run into your heart and life like water in a desert and will give you life. Will take away the tears, will take away the pain and will bring joy and forgiveness in your life, peace in your life, love in your life, hope in your life, joy in your life. Jesus will come and change you today if you allow him in your life. Let him in today. There's joy in Jesus, peace in Jesus, love in Jesus. He can give you that love today, that peace today. Allow him into your heart, allow him into your life. Allow him to come in and fill you with joy and fill you with the power of the Holy Spirit today. Love, peace, joy, hope can come and be yours today. You don't have to walk in despair. You don't have to walk with no hope. You can walk with joy, you can walk with peace, you can walk with hope because the Holy Ghost will give you hope. The Holy Ghost will clean you. The Holy Ghost will bring hope in your life, joy in your life, peace in your life. Jesus said, I have come to give you life more abundantly. The abundant life of God. The abundant life of the Spirit of God. The abundant life of the power of God. The abundant life of God for you today. You've got to open your heart to believe in Jesus. You gotta say, Lord, I'm a sinner. Lord, I need your forgiveness. Lord, I need your cleansing. Lord, I need your mercy. Lord, come into my life. And he will forgive you today. He'll forgive you and he'll bless you if you let him in your life. If you let him in your heart. He will forgive you, sir. Show you love and peace and the joy of the Lord will be your strength. Paul said, rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice and again I say rejoice. And he'll give you joy, he'll give you peace, he'll give you hope. Are you alright, sir? Yes, sir. You want to say anything, bro? Thank you. Thank you, yeah? That's nice. It's, 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 brother, it's brother, Jesus. brother. The Bible. I can't stop. You want me to pick the shot? The Bible says, the Bible will say, God bless you, bro. God bless you, bro. The Bible says, you must be born again. Born again of the power of God. God will come and change you today. It's all free. You get your palm read by a clairvoyant, it'll cost you 20 pounds to get your palm read. Cost you nothing to know Jesus. Free. Free. God bless you, ladies. Free. Free to know the love of Jesus. Free to know the love of God. Free for you today. Free for you. If only you would trust Him. If only you would treasure Him. If only you would look to Him. If only you would desire Him. More than the stars. More than the money. More than the fame. More than the power. More than relationship. If only you would desire Jesus. And love Jesus. And trust Jesus. And want Jesus more than anything in your life. If only you would want Him. If only you would want Jesus. Assalamu alaikum. Do you want to talk, bro? Do you want to talk, bro? Come on, have a chat. Come on. Come on now. If only you would want Jesus. God bless you, bro. If only you would want Jesus. If only you would want Him and know Him and be blessed by Jesus. And allow Jesus in your life. Allow Jesus to change you, set you free, give you peace, give you hope. Give you power, give you love. God bless you. Give you power, give you love, give you joy. Oh, Jesus will set you free. Jesus will set you free. If you let him in your life, 
Let it be your besty besty today. Let Jesus be your besty besty today. Let it come in your life. Let it fill you with joy. Let it fill you with power. Let it forgive you today. When Jesus died on that cross, He took the wrath that you deserve. The wrath of God fell upon Him. The wrath of God was shed upon Him. And there He died with a crown of thorns upon His head, nailed to the cross. Nailed on that cross for you. Nailed on that cross. Shedding His blood on that cross. Nailed to that cross. Broken on that cross. Nailed on that cross for you. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. And that blood was shed for you on that cross, my friend. The blood was shed for you on that cross. And if you come to the blood of the Lamb, you'll be forgiven. If you come to the blood of the Lamb, you'll be cleansed. If you come to the blood of the Lamb, you'll be forgiven. If you come to the blood of the Lamb, you'll be set free. The blood, the blood was shed for you. The blood was shed and he took the wrath that you deserve the wrath of God was poured upon him the wrath of God was poured upon Jesus for you that you may be forgiven my friend you may be forgiven that you may be washed in the blood of the Lamb that you may be clean in the blood of the Lamb the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin if we confess our sin he is faithful and just to cleanse us from all unrighteousness my friend why am I that wrong? Why? 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 I do, bro. I do, sir. Yes. The Lamb. I believe in the blood of the Lamb. You know why I believe in the blood of the Lamb, bro? Because John the Baptist said this. He said when he saw Jesus, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Are you a Muslim? Do you believe in John the Baptist? John the Baptist, the prophet said, Behold, the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world, bro. And that's the blood of the Lamb. And so Jesus died and died for you, bro. Have you ever lied? Have you ever lied? Have you ever lied? The blood of the Lamb was shed for your lives, bro. The blood of the Lamb was shed and he died on that cross and he died to set you free, bro. Died to set you free. From Manchester. Whatever you believe, I respect. Well, whatever. I'm from Manchester. God bless you, folks. No, 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 no. I'm here to preach the gospel, bro. God bless you, man. God bless you. We're here to share the word of God to you today. The blood of the Lamb. Behold the blood of the Lamb. Not behold the wacky wacky, but behold the blood of the Lamb. Not behold crack cocaine, but behold the blood of the Lamb. Not behold materialism, but behold the blood of the Lamb. Not behold porn, but behold the blood of the Lamb. Not behold selfishness, but behold the blood of the Lamb. Not behold materialism or postmodernism, but behold the blood of the Lamb. Behold the blood of the Lamb. The blood of the Lamb was shed for you to set you free. The blood of the Lamb was there to save you from the wrath of God. The blood of the Lamb was there to make you free. The blood of the Lamb was there to save you and make you a hope and give you peace and joy and to bring forgiveness in your life, peace in your life, joy in your life, hope in your life, forgiveness in your life, and it's all for you today. It's all for you. It's all for you if only you believe. If only you would repent. If only you would turn away and say sorry to the Lord. If only you would say, hello sir, God bless you. Nice to meet you sir. God bless you sir, whatever you believe I respect. God bless, nice to meet you sir. Nice to meet you. You're looking after daddy? Daddy's a good daddy. God bless you bro. I'm preaching the Bible. The blood of the Lamb. The blood of the Lamb was shed for you. The blood of the Lamb was given for you. The blood of the Lamb will set you free. Let the blood forgive you. Let the blood cover you. Let the blood wash you. Let the blood come into your family. Let the blood of the Lamb come into your life and cover you and forgive you and cleanse you and wash you and make you anew today by the power of the blood of the Lamb. 
That's what you need in your life. You need forgiveness by the power of the blood of the Lamb. That's what you need. You need a revolution in your life. You need to change in your life. You need forgiveness in your life. And it comes by the blood of the Lamb. The Lamb of God was shed for you. The Lamb of God died for you. He was nailed to a cross. They nailed him to a cross. He had a crown of thorns upon his head. He was dying on that cross. The blood was coming down. He was the God man. And there he was dying on that cross. And as he was dying on that cross, he was taking your wrath. The wrath of God fell upon Jesus. For you, my friend. For you, my friend. For you, my friend. The blood was shed for you. That you could be forgiven. That you could be cleansed in the blood of the Lamb. That you could be cleansed and washed in the blood of the Lamb. That you could be a new man. That you could be a new woman. That you could be saved from the wrath of God and hell and the judgment to come. That's why you died all time. Come out of the pain. Come out of the drugs. Come out of the sin and come to Jesus. Come. Whether you're labor, whether you're gay or not gay, whether you're black or white, come. Come whether you're fat or thin. Come whether you're dumb or intelligent. Come to Jesus and he'll forgive you. Come to the Lord and he will wash you white as snow. Come and he will forgive you. Come and he will put his arms around you. Come and he will forgive you. But don't die in your sin. Don't die and go to hell. Don't die and go to hell and to the judgment to come. Come. Don't listen to the politics today. Don't listen to the politicians. Don't listen to the academics. Don't listen to them, my friend. They are lying to you. This world is lying to you. Listen to the word of God. Listen to the word of God. The word of God says to you today, Come unto me all you who are weak and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Come to him. Don't come to politics, or philosophy, or science, but come to Jesus. Come to the Lord, and he will forgive you. Come to Jesus, and he will cleanse you. Come to Jesus, and he will make you anew and set you free. Oh, come. He wants you. He wants you to come. He wants you to be saved. Come. Come to Jesus. Come to the Lord and find peace and find forgiveness and find joy in your life. Find the love of God in your life. So come. Come to Jesus. Come to him. He's longing that you will come and believe in him and trust in him as your Lord and Savior. So come. Come to Jesus. Come to the Lord today. Come. Whoever you are, you may have no money, come. You may be poor, come. You may be weak, come. You may be frail, come. You may be broken hearted, come. Come. To Jesus, come unto me, all you are weak and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He will give you rest. He will give you forgiveness. So come, come to Jesus. Don't run away from God. Don't run away from Jesus. Don't run away from your salvation. So come, come to Jesus and find forgiveness, and find peace, and find hope. And find Jesus as your Lord and Savior. He'll say, come into my kingdom. Come into my kingdom. I love you. Come into my kingdom. I forgive you. Come into my kingdom. I wash you. Come into my kingdom. I am your Savior. I am your Lord. I am your King who loved you and died for you. Come into my kingdom. I want you. So come into my kingdom. I died for you. Now come. And he wants you in the kingdom, in the kingdom of his son. So come, whoever you are, come.
He wants you so come and trust Him. For He will forgive you and He will cleanse you and He will wash you. So come. Cry out to Him. Say, Lord, have mercy upon me, a sinner. Have mercy upon me, a sinner. Don't hold on to your self righteousness. Don't hold on to your pride. For your pride will take you to hell. Your self-righteousness will take you to hell. And it will damn you for eternity. So don't hold on to your pride. Don't hold on to your pride. Let it go. Let your pride go. Let your self-righteousness go. Let your clever opinions go. And hold on to the Word of God. The eternal Word of God that is rock, that is a rock to our feet. And the Word of God will give us strength. And the Word of God will give us joy. And the Word of God brings us salvation. So come. <laughs> you got them for me. He's got me some food here and he's at my food, guys. He's at my food, I'm going to show them just for a laugh. Here we are, my friends. The weekend. Man worships the weekend. Man worships what happens at the weekend. And we are a slave to material. George got me some food. He's at my chips. We are slaves to money. And we look off to other money slaves who have more money. So we are in this slave to money for our lives, and then we die. Is that the meaning of life? To be a slave to money. To be a slave to greed. To be a slave to a job that you despise with no hope, with no other alternative but to get drunk as the only way to find meaning in your life. Is that the meaning of life, my friend? The good news is this. The good news is that there is meaning to life, that there is a purpose for your existence, a purpose that will last forever, meaning that will last forever if you come and embrace the truth that Jesus Christ is the living God, that Jesus Christ is God's own Son, and that Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. And when you come into a submission to Jesus, everything makes sense. Everything in life begins to make sense when you accept Jesus. When you surrender to His will, life becomes so much more purposeful. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. And when you accept Jesus, your eyes wake up. Like Brother Saul of Tartar, he hated Christians. He was on the way to Damascus to throw and kill Christians. When he saw a bright light on the road to Damascus, and he heard a voice say to him in the Hebrew language, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Paul said, Who are you, Lord? Jesus said, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But now get up, and I will show you what you must do. And there and then, Saul of Tarsus, Saul of Tarsus became Paul the Apostle. The criminal who hated all Christians, who wanted to kill them and destroy the faith of Jesus, became the greatest missionary, the greatest apostle that this world has ever seen of Jesus Christ. Paul the Apostle. Now my friends, you can have a radical transformation, just like I did. That night when I surrendered to Jesus, everything changed. Everything changed. I had peace. For 20 years of my life, I had no peace. I had no fulfillment. I had no purpose to my existence. I was a slave to money. I was a slave to the next drug. I was a slave to the next drink. But not a slave to anything of any value. But that night I surrendered. It all changed. Everything changed. I became a slave of the living God. And to be a slave of God is amazing. As compared to being a slave of the devil. And you see the Bible says that the devil has taken them captive to do his will. The devil has taken many people captive to do his will. What is his will? Primarily to stop you believing. To 
do anything it takes to stop you believing in Jesus Christ. That's all the devil can do, is to take the fight out of you. Because if you don't realise that you're in a war, how are you going to be able to fight? If you don't realise that you have an enemy, how are you going to be able to put up a defence? So he takes the fight out of you, by keeping you from Jesus. But the second you come to Jesus, you realise that the devil is your enemy. You realise that he has no power over you anymore because you belong to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and the God of Gods, the Lord Jesus Christ, the God man, the Almighty, the Lord, the God. He's awesome. He's absolutely amazing. He's exhilarating. There is nothing boring about Jesus Christ. There is everything that exhilarates your senses. Everything about passion. Jesus Christ is God and he loves you. Yes, He loves you how you are right now. He loves you. He loves you. He, loves you. he died for you. He doesn't want you to live that way. I used to live like you. I used to live in abject rebellion of anyone and everything that you are now. I used to be poor. I used to have no money because I spent it all on drugs. I used to spend all my money on drugs. But when I gave my life to Jesus, when I gave my life to Jesus, everything changed. When I gave my life to Jesus, I'm not going to say I'm rich, but I don't waste all my money on drugs. I don't waste all my money on alcohol. I'm not rich. You just said you were rich. I said I used to be really poor because I used to spend all my money on drugs. Are you rich? Yeah, yeah. I got saved. No, no, I got saved. He is Lord. He is Lord. 